Hi everyone, it's Michelle here from 3Ps and today I wanted to share with you a couple more ideas I had using the um, scatter pack I showed in my other 4th of July video that I got from Dollar Tree and it had um, these stars in it along with um, these little uh, punch outs that say America on them. So using these I was going to show you a little card that I've made. So here's one. Looks like this. It's just a simple little um, card here on white cardstock where I just stamped the inside. And it just says Happy Fourth. Nothing, nothing real fancy. Did a couple of variations. Here's a blue one with this little gingham, this little check ribbon. Same idea on the inside. And here's another red one. Looks like this. Again, happy fourth on the inside. So I thought I would show you how um, I put this together. And the paper pack I'm using, I got this at a local dollar store where I live, but it's from Forever in Time. So I don't know if anyone has this at. Um, the dollar store here is called Friendly Dollar. Now this pack here had kind of a kind of a dark red and a dark blue, but I ended up going with this pack here that had a lighter version of these colors um, for the cards. I kind of liked uh, this lighter red better, so I went with that. And it's in here, and it's just. Uh, this pack here, they're both polka dots, but this one has like a purple, orange, I think that's black, dark green, and then like that red color. And then I think this front one's like a brown. One of them's like a brown, so I thought those were pretty cute. With fall coming up, I thought this would be a nice pack to have. And they were a dollar, or might have been dollar twenty-five for these little six by six paper packs and then this one here just has like a pink a yellow another I guess lighter pink or is that the red that might be the red no that's pink a green and then a blue and then I just have one of the red sheets left so but I thought I would show you how I put this together it was super super easy all I did was Cut down a piece of card, white cardstock, an 8x11 piece of cardstock, and then I just scalloped the edges, um, or not scalloped, I corner punched or corner rounded uh, the edges here with a, with a punch, but you could always do it by hand. I just rounded off the edges, and then I've already pre stamped the happy with the star on the inside, and then on the outside, I cut down. A piece of paper it measures five inches um, five inches long by three and three quarter inches across to fit inside this here um, and then it just sits down inside so I've gone ahead and pre-cut these out and it just goes together pretty quick um, just use a little glue runner here on the back of this paper It's a very lightweight, very easy card, um, I thought, to put together. So that's that on the outside. Now for this one here, I like using the contrasting, so I used um, a washi tape. I also got this washi tape at Dollar Tree uh, across the front on um, the red background. I thought that looked nice. And the other card I did look like this with the blue on blue, but for this one I have a red one left, so I'm going to do it a little different. And then just put a few stars on there. So I thought that turned out, turned out pretty cute. So for this one here, for the blue one, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry about that. For the blue one, I'm just going to put some of this um, fabric tape that I got. I got this from Target. It was a while ago. I'm not even sure they still have it. And I'm just putting a simple line across the, not really the middle, but kind of the midway from the middle, I guess. And doing that all the way across. I'm just going to snip that off right there on the edge of the 
the paper like that. So it just goes across that and not over the white. So, I mean, you can really, really use anything you want on these. I just thought the paper was cute uh, for the fourth, these particular colors. And so then what I'm left with is this little punch out from the little scatter pack I got from Dollar Tree. And believe it or not, this is all I have left. <laughs> I've used it all. So... But I only bought one pack. So I've got this up here. And then I've got my red, white, and blue um, stars. I'm just going to line these up. Kind of get an idea where I want them. It doesn't really matter. They can be, you know, any way that you want. Now for the stars, um, I'm just going to use some glue dots. Like these that you get at Dollar Tree on the back of the stars. Um, I did, I don't know if you can see, on this first, this is the first card I made, I put the glue on the back of it, and it kind of, I don't know if it was just too concentrated on these stars, but it kind of, kind of, I don't think you can see it, but it's a little warped right there where the glue kind of absorbed in the paper, so I may have put too much on there, but I'm just going to use these little glue dots, they work nicely in the center of these stars, because sometimes it's glittered. Um, embellishments they don't really want to stick down very well so I'm not really being very particular about how these sit <laughs> just popping a little dot right in the middle these glue dots stick very nicely to glittered surfaces you don't really have to worry about any kind of dry time. Although some glues do dry pretty fast. So, do that. Okay. Now, for this word cutout, there's not really a solid section to put a, one of these dots on. So, but if you've got smaller dots, you certainly can. Um, put those on there, but I think I'm gonna glue the I'm gonna glue the actual words. I've got this glue pen that I also got at the same dollar store from the same company um, that made the paper, so I think it might work pretty good. These pens, whoopsie, oops. I was about to say these pens actually make it come out easy, and then it came out in a big blob. I just don't want anything too thick because um, I don't want it to go through the paper. All right, and so I'm just going to kind of center that up at the top and it'll dry clear. So we're going to let that set itself up and then I'm going to do the inside. Now, what I did for this inside here is what I do with it. I just have one this red Sharpie where it's got a thin tip and I just colored in where it says happy. To give it a little red color. Kind of color that in. I'm going to keep the inside really, really simple. Okay, and then for the fourth, I used a stencil. Now, I didn't have enough um, stickers like alpha stickers with the number four. I only had like two and so I just kind of wanted to keep these universal. So I just simply traced um, or a number four off a stencil that fit inside the star. So I didn't have enough, um, you know, like alpha stickers that were the number four. Or I would have just used that. Don't really think about using a lot of numbers sometimes. <laughs> Now, if you want, on some of these, um, like I didn't outline this one, so that's how that turned out if you don't want to outline it. And then on this one I did, I outlined the star. And let's see here. 
and on this one I did as well. So on this one I, I did it red with the, but I like the blue stone I think better. So. And all I did there was just take some colored pencils and I just simply colored it in with some colored pencils. I don't have any like Copic markers or anything like that. So, but if you've got Copic markers or something that's not going to bleed too heavily through the paper, all I have are Sharpies right now and they kind of, kind of bleed through this pretty bad. So I tried to keep that minimal uh, use on here. And I just simply wrote in the TH so that it says the fourth. Just a little card if you have a reason to send this to somebody. I've got quite a few friends in the military, so I thought it would be a nice gesture to them uh, to send them a 4th of July card and put something in that. So. Nothing real fancy. These are just basic colored pencils. But I thought it looked cute. Something nice and simple. And I've got it laying around anyway. So. But you might have some nice Copic markers and could make this look really nice. I don't have any of those. So that's all colored in. I do like kind of outlining it. Now I do have a dark blue Sharpie, but it comes out black. So because of that, um, I was using a, my this blue Sharpie. It's a light blue, but it comes out a little bit turquoise almost. But I think that'll be okay. I'm just tracing the uh, star to help it kind of pop a little bit. Either way is fine. Just a really simple happy fourth. I don't really have a whole lot of stamps for the 4th of July, so I kind of had to put it on a block myself. So that's how that turned out. So there's the front of the card, and then the inside with just a happy 4th. You might have something a little bit more, you know, uh, fancy than I do. But that's how these turned out. I thought I made some pretty cute cards here. So there's that. And then one of the last ideas I wanted to share with you was this little star thing that I made using the stars from the same pack. And they just hang like this. And I've got a little blue uh, ring up here. I got these at Hobby Lobby and just some regular um, twine or cording. And all I simply did with that is sandwich the stars uh, on the on the rope or on the little twine there So I just got me some of this twine that I have laying around And just simply tie it around this ring And I actually have these kind of hanging up around the house like I have one um, Or I will have one where I hang up my calendar, the little nail that I use to hang up the calendar, when I flip it over to July, I can hang up one of these little stars in front of it, and I think that's kind of cute. And then the kids have some hanging on something in their room. I can't remember what. All right, so I'm just going to tie that for now. And then I'm simply going to pair up, you know, the star so that they sandwich around the cording. And I just did the red, white, and blue together like this. Start off with, I don't I think I'm gonna use a heavier glue than this one though, hold on. I have a different glue I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this one. It dries a little bit uh, faster. But if not, you can always put a heavy book on it or something. I did have to do that earlier to get them to stay. And all I simply did was, you know, put a generous amount of glue. And I'm just eyeballing where I want it to be. And then I'm laying the string through the center of the star so that it lays down. And then gluing it like so like this okay 
getting glue on my mat. <laughs> and you just repeat all the way down. Just kind of eyeball where you kind of want it to sit. And then while I'm holding it down, I'll glue across it like this. And then just sandwich it in between. Like this. And depending on if you, you know, how fast your glue dries, you might not need to lay anything on top of it. Sorry about that. Uh, my camera... <laughs> stop there for a second but as I was saying uh, I've done the top two and trying to make sure that they're nice and squished together and I'm gonna do this one here like I said I'm just eyeballing about where I want the stars to be it doesn't have to be perfect you know so doing it like this Now I'm going to need to let this one dry. I'm going to go ahead and snip this off, leaving myself enough cord to tie off at the bottom. Now what I like to do uh, when I make things like this, because I want the cord, sometimes these cords can be, they want to come undone. This is the only thing heavy I have right now, but basically I'm just going to lay this on top so that it kind of weighs down the the embellishments but what I like to do sometimes is take some of my glues what I've done what I've done what I have done here um, on this knot and on this little knot here at the bottom is I just take a little bit of this glue because it's gonna dry clear anyway and I just dab a little bit of it on the knot itself and then just kind of roll it around in it and let it dry so that the knot is nice and secure and isn't gonna come undone so even though I've double knotted them, sometimes every now and then, you know, if it's gets pulled on or something, it likes to, the knot can come undone. So I do a little bit of glue up here and kind of roll it around or you know, rub it into the to the area or to the knot. Well, I can show you on this. I think everyone understands what I'm saying, but so like this here, I don't want this to come undone. So just to make sure that it stays tied. I'll take a dollop of glue like this and just kind of rub it around the, rub it into the cording so that it's kind of, and then just let it dry because it's going to dry clear. And then I'll tie this off at the bottom once these are nice and dry and not going to keep coming open once the glue dries and sets. And then I'll do the same thing with the knot that's at the bottom. So yeah, thought these uh, turned out pretty good. I need to set that aside and let it let it dry nice and good so like this one here it's all see you know they're all stuck together with permanent glue yeah so I thought those turned out it's really a simple thing but I thought it turned out pretty cute so yeah uh, here's a couple more ideas of some things that you can do if you go to Dollar Tree and you get that pack they have the Fourth of July table scatter that comes with these uh, American America cutouts and then these stars. They make some pretty cute cards. And these little whimsical little hangers. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching today and y'all have a great day. Thank you.